All right, so I know I haven't recorded a video in a while. So earlier this year in July, I moved to Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And for those of y'all that don't keep up with my social media or anything, I was in Austin, Texas before this. And since we moved here, uh, my wife and I unloaded everything and it was a quick turnaround and I started interning with the LSU football team. And since it was in season, I've been super busy. And now that the regular season is done and we're just waiting on our bowl game prep, I'm gonna take this time and film some videos for y'all. I've got some equipment that I wanna review and also some just training information and stuff that I typically release that I'll be uploading as well. So be sure to stay tuned. Now the first thing that I'll be reviewing for y'all is the portable plate and barbell storage tree. So this isn't super exciting. It's not gonna give you some massive strength gains or anything like I typically do. However, as you can see, I just moved into this house you know, a couple months ago and I'm trying to clean up some of the stuff that I have around here. And I think that putting all of my weight plates and maybe some of the bars that I have just around here loose will help clean up some of the stuff. Now, as you can see, there is a little bit of damage to the box. And you know, I say this in all my videos, that's the damage to the box is just common with all Titan Fitness products. And maybe it's even common amongst other companies too, because you know, this has to go through UPS or whoever, and they just drop off the equipment at the house. So you don't know if it came like this or if maybe when they dropped it, something shifted and popped the box a little bit. Either way, it's not a big deal. I don't think it's gonna hurt the equipment that bad, but let's go ahead, open this up. Thing. seems to be packaged pretty nice and that's one thing I will say about Titans equipment is that it's always you know kept in this bag it's just not just some random piece of equipment that's thrown in a box and shipped off Okay, so I just opened everything up, laid it all out, took everything out of the package, and I wanted to double check, which I did, I looked through the box, but this item did not come with any instructions at all. I don't think it'll be too difficult without the instructions, you could just look at the picture and match up the bolts, however, that is a negative on Titan's part. And then on top of that, it also doesn't come with any tools. So you have these right here, this nut and bolt set, and then you have this right here and i believe these are for the tires i don't know yet i'll double check but in order to put these on you're going to need a three four socket and that'll be for this one right here and then for this little one you'll need an 11 16th all right so i'm gonna put all this together and then we'll meet back up at the end All right, so whenever I piece together any equipment, whether it be my rack or this or just anything that I get, I always make sure that I bolt everything down for the final finish last because you can see right here, it's completely off, right? I put the level on it and then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and tilt this this way to right there and go ahead and bolt everything down completely. Side note, one of the reasons why I wanted to get this plate storage 
is to get rid of this plate storage that I currently have on my Sorinex rack right now. These things are so annoying. If you see right there, we have the plates and then on this side is where the bolts are exposed. Now, anytime you step inside of this rack, you have the possibility of hitting your ankle against those. And I'm speaking from firsthand experience when I say that that hurts when you're getting ready to squat and you ram your ankle up against that bolt. All right, now that I bolted everything down, I'm gonna go ahead and take all the weights from this rack, throw them on here, all right? Let's do it. This thing is absolutely amazing. The quality of vertical storage that this is, is unbelievable for the price. So I paid $189. And this one, if you got it from Rogue with the wheels, it's gonna be $251.50. All right, so that one, I believe it's like $220. And then if you want the wheels, it's $31 extra, which I would highly recommend because anytime I move my garage around or if we move houses or anything, all I have to do is unlock the wheels and we can wheel it onto the U-Haul, we can wheel it to where we're gonna deadlift that day, whatever it is, all right? So I would highly suggest getting the wheels. So if you're looking at Titan Fitness to Rogue, it's gonna be 189 to 251. And I would say that there's not much difference in quality even though I haven't seen the Rogue one just yet. Now, there is cheaper options on Amazon, but the biggest thing that you need to look at, like I said, is the wheels, because a lot of them don't come with wheels. And then two, the weight capacity. So I have on here 1045s, 425s, 410s, 25s, two two and a halfs. This would crush some of those Amazon plate storages. All right, so the weight capacity on this one is 1,000 pounds, Rogue doesn't say how much theirs is, but I would imagine it's probably around the same because they're always comparable. Now, the ones I've seen on Amazon that are like 100 bucks, 80 bucks, the weight capacity is 300. So this amount of weight, like I said, will crush those ones on Amazon. Now, another important note is to look at what these plate holders are attached to this by. Because I've seen some where it's just a rod you push it through the center and it comes out on both sides. And then sometimes you end up with more of this rod on one side than the other just over time from people taking weight off. Some of them, they bolt to this piece right here, but Titan Fitness welded it, which I think is huge in making sure that this thing is durable and that it doesn't mess up over time from people, like I said, taking the plates off or anything like that because you don't want to end up with more on one side because that might end up making it tilt and fall over. So huge props to Titan Fitness for doing that because that is absolutely genius. Now back to the wheels. One thing that I don't believe the Rogue Fitness one has is the ability to lock your wheels. Now I may be wrong from the pictures. I really tried to look at them as much as I can but I don't see that feature at all on them. If you have the Rogue vertical plate storage, let me know if those wheels lock. Because I think this is an awesome feature, is that all you have to do is snap this down on both sides, and the thing isn't gonna move at all. So if you have any kind of slope or anything like that to your garage, that is going to be important if you still want the wheel feature. Now, another awesome thing about Titan Fitness and it's not really related to this product, but I ordered this on Monday and got it by Saturday. So the turnaround times that Titan has right now is super awesome, and it's like that with a lot of their equipment. So huge shout out again to Titan for that. And that's my review of the portable weight and barbell storage from Titan Fitness. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys have any comments or questions, go ahead and drop them down in the comment section, and I will reply back as soon as possible. If you have any other training questions, you could drop those in there as well. I enjoy always talking training with everybody. Now the next product review that I have coming up is going to be the wagon wheels from Titan Fitness. 
They're gonna be super awesome. I cannot wait to deadlift with them and show them to you all. So be sure to stay tuned for that one. Turn on your notifications so you know exactly when I drop it. But until then, stay strong.